and I'm reporting live from the Global Hydrogen Summit, which is going on at the Grand Health Kochi in Kerala. And joining me on the sideline of the summit is Mr. Uh, uh, Sachin Vani. He is Head of Engineering and Project at KPIT Technology. So thank you, Sachin, and thank you for being with us for this uh, interview. Thank you. Uh, could you tell us about your experience of this summit? How do you summit like this? And uh, in terms of shaping the renewable energy landscape, the speaker participating in, in the summit, the choice of panel question. What is your overall experience? I think uh, first of all, I want to thanks basically for arranging this this event. So this is a uh, global event. So it has given a very good perspective of various industries coming in, focusing on the hydrogen renewable energy sources and the solutions as well. Okay, so the good part is like uh, all the people coming from the industry with a different experience okay, and uh, about their views on the future of this hydrogen. So that has opened up a very good platform for all the people for the discussion. So I think this is Intel is a very good event. We, uh, we were also able to showcase our hydrogen fuel cell vehicle and that has been inaugurated by JPL sir and that was a very precious moment. So it's a very, overall it's a very good event and this, this kind of events are required. Uh, to go because that only gives the boost for bringing the new solutions on the road. And uh, if you could uh, briefly tell us about what is KPIT offerings in terms of renewable and green hydrogen. Yeah, uh, so basically uh, KPIT technology is a Pune based company and we, ha we have sprayed across the globe. We work, uh, we have a separate vertical for alternate fuel, so which focuses on all the technology developments for uh, right from the electric propulsion. So battery technologies, uh, then we have uh, very good uh, efforts and uh, technology developed for the fuel cell, so which is a patented as well. And we also work in the hydrogen generation areas. So we also do have a patents on that. So overall, KPIT uh, is a technology company not into the mass manufacturing, but yes, along with, uh, apart from the alternate fuel cell, we are uh, basically a software that uh, we take, takes care of the embedded part of the things offering the solutions on multiple fronts uh, for the globally for OEMs as well as uh, for the TRs. And uh, how do you see India's ongoing clean energy transformation, net zero emission target and uh, how is KPI pushing this initiative and how is it playing its part in this energy so, transformation journey? Basically about uh, when we talk about these initiatives of course uh, government uh, Modiji has launched that national hydrogen mission that is giving a very good push into the market and the, there are various segments now okay let's like say automotive has come up with a different idea of the subsidies for the hydrogen mobility the marine segment is also framing up their strategies and the policies for this which is I think has also been announced last month by uh, the cabinet minister also defense okay who's an uh, different all put together segment so defense is also going into these areas of uh, hydrogen developing the solutions for the remote applications so and another way is the stationary power source where a lot of diesel consumptions are there so now they are also planning to move towards the green solution so overall in all these four segments we see a very good traction coming in and that will uh, that that will that will mobilize the whole industry and the ecosystem. The lagging part was the hydrogen infrastructure development for displacing generation. So that also has taken a very good shape. Let's say the BPCL who has uh, now installed the plant in the Kochi. So they have started manufacturing, producing the hydrogen. The dispensing also they are starting from next. So I think these are very good initiatives coming on board from various industries. So whole ecosystem around this hydrogen mobility is getting developed. And you at the summit shine and uh, KBID shine an MOU with uh, BPCL. Tell us more about the MOU. What was all that? I think as a part of, as I said, like uh, somebody has to initiate and uh, look, all, all people, the giants are coming on board for uh, taking this initiative ahead. So let's say put uh, Coaching International Airport Limited, the BPCL, BPCL is coming into the manufacturing of hydrogen. Uh, CIL is coming into the operations of the bus. KPIT is bringing the technology on board, ECA is bringing the, their base vehicle on board for the with battery electric solution. So I think all people are coming together to have this uh, initiatives take a good shape ahead. Uh, so the MOU uh, has been signed off today. So it's a very good thing for all four of us and of course for the India when we are going to the net zero target. The plan is like uh, the demonstration bus what we will be deploying for almost three years and parallelly we will be building additional buses as well 
for the Kochi and of course going across the India. Thank you, Sachin. Thank you for sharing your valuable insight. Thank you. Sir. Thank you sir.